Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I am going to start out with my face completely bare and then kind of like just be a little more casual and talk to you guys as I get ready. Um, I wanted to combine two videos today because the month of June is like flying by and there are so many things that I want to share with you guys that I don't know how I'm going to get them all done if I post every three, you know, if I post three times a week. So we're going to do two videos in one today. Um... Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. So first things first, we're going to be testing out the Juvia's Place Foundation. I'm so excited for this. I was going to buy it online and then actually ended up seeing it in store like the day that I was going to buy it online. So that's great. And also, I got my June BoxyCharm in. Not super excited about it, I'll be honest. And it's because I really wanted the face palette. And I mean, I know that with BoxyCharm, it's not like you can choose. Um, and I have used two of the products so far, but this Tarte palette, I will show it to you guys, um, but I'm just not going to open it. I have so many palettes with so many shades, and I do not need a palette this small. I might gift this or sell it or I don't know, but it's not staying with me. She's got to go. She smells really nice. Really, really nice. I love Tarte's packaging. This palette was actually made specifically for BoxyCharm, like Tarte made it specifically for BoxyCharm, and that retails for $36. So it's quite this deal um, because that's way more than the box is worth. And I think BoxyCharm is great if you are a beginner in makeup, but for someone who is so... Really, it's great for everybody because to me, like, I get to test new products that I would have never, like, picked out for myself. But at the same time, when I get things like this, like, I'm not going to use this. So I feel like I lose a little bit of... Um, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I lose a little bit. And I actually took two of these on the plane with me thinking I would use them, and I didn't. But these are the Pearlies, I think is how it's called, um, Matcha Green Tea X Antioxidant Sheet Face Masks. And you get three in the BoxyCharm, which is great. And these retail for, the set of three retails for $24. So again, way more than the box. I can't wait to try it. I would probably try it tonight. I love doing face masks at night. But right now, I have to get ready. And next is the No More Pro Pore Blem, No Pore Blem, um, Prime Essence Calendula Officialis Flower Extract. This is from the brand Touch and Soul. Um, made in Korea, how cool. And it is $23. I used, oh my god. I just spilled that. Okay. So super liquidy. I mean, and I knew that, but like, obviously I didn't, I underestimated it. So... Last time I did this, I put it on my hand. It feels like skincare, like it feels like a serum. So you guys just keep that in mind. But I do like this product, I was super excited for it. I feel like it almost, I don't own the Milk Highlight Hydro Grip Primer, but I feel like that's what it would feel like because this is so sticky. Like it feels like it's gonna grip your makeup and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime the rest of my face with that. So as I'm doing this, I'm noticing that this primer seems to really be going like a long way. <laughs> like literally a little drop will cover so much of your skin. Um, and it feels super, super tacky. So I'm really, really excited about that guy. Um, the two other items I got in the box were the Kristen Dominique um, Lippy in the sh shade Strawberry Lemony. This is from her like lemonade collection and that retails for $17 and this is the Steve Laurent not St. Laurent I know some people thought that was what it was um, I saw that on uh, Kathleen's video actually um, and this is what it looks like I have been using this because I got my box right before I went to Minnesota I have been using this and it reminds me of a ColourPop Super Shock shadow or like a super shock highlight there it's got that like really moussey pressed down texture and this retails for $26 again more than the box so um I am pretty happy with most of the products the only thing I was disappointed in in this month's BoxyCharm was the Tarte palette um but I kind of wanted to get it out of the way and look at that palette with you got look at this like box with you guys so we'll be using the rest of the products that come um, or that came in the box with the video, but this is what my skin is looking like with that primer. I'm really happy. My skin feels like it's glowing, but like, it feels super tacky, guys. I'm really, really excited. So, 
I also picked up some new goodies at Walmart and at Sally Beauty. Um, so if you guys follow um, Juicy Jazz here on YouTube, she, her channel is very much like mine actually. I feel like one of my subscribers actually told me about her and told me that, that I reminded her of Jasmine and I think that was such a compliment. She's so sweet. Um, but I picked up the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Primer with, this is what it looks like. I'm not even going to try to pronounce what the word is, but colon clay, something like that, and tea tree. So I have a super oily nose, not even a T-zone, literally just my nose. So I love this packaging. I think it's super cute that it's like baby pink. Um, but instead of using my go-to, which is the one heck of a blot primer from Soap and Glory. I'm gonna try this one on my nose. Oh, I'm not gonna like it. I don't like the professional primer and you guys can see it's that very silicone-y uh, texture. So I'm gonna test it out for today um, just because it's really the texture that I don't... This smells like medicine. Anyway. Um, it's really the texture that I don't like, but this one does feel thicker than the professional. Like, it feels like it has a thicker consistency. So I'm just going to put this kind of in my T-zone, even though that's not, like, a huge problem that I have. Um, mostly I just get oily. This is an oil control primer, so... I know the professional is to fill in pores, and this one claims to obviously do more than just fill in pores. It's supposed to be an oil control primer, which I need. So, there's that. Next... From Sally Beauty, I literally picked up this up on Jasmine's recommendation from the channel I was just talking about, Juicy Jazz. She is obsessed with this Collab Beauty um, setting powder. This was like $11 to $14, so not super expensive, but not super affordable. Um, they sell this at Sally Beauty Supply, and it is their Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder in the shade Porcelain Ivory. This is the one I picked up. I love the packaging. feels super sturdy. Ooh, it comes with a little baby. Uh... How nice. I love these guys. So I will be using it for today's video. Normally I use my bigger one. This is the powder I'm going to use in today's video because I really like everything um, Jasmine likes. Everything on her recommendation has always been super good. And I really feel like her and I have very simi oops. similar uh, skin types and concerns. So I'm excited. So I'm just going to dump this out before we even get started. Okay, not much came out. So let me just... Give a little pat, you know? Okay, that looks better. I really like the color of it. It looks like it's gonna be perfect for me. I also picked this up, and I will do this in another video coming up, probably. But I found, and I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it, but I found it, and it is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup. It is sunscreen, SPF 50, and I got the shade of Naturally Beige. So hopefully this matches me. I will definitely test it out in an upcoming video. I just have so much to test out today. So let's go ahead and get started with the Juvia's Place Foundation. Um, this is $20, so it better cover all of the problems in my life, which are not very many, I guess, but you know, first world problems. I know people say stuff like that, but um, it is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I s it's really not that expensive when you consider like the Too Faced Worn This Way then that I just picked up, it was $39, but like obviously the packaging is way different, but I prefer this packaging. I would pay, I would prefer to pay less for packaging and pay more on the product end, if that makes sense. Like the actual contents of what's in the packaging. And also I love a squeezy tube because I feel like you don't waste any product. My ideal packaging preferably would be a squeezy tube with a pump and then like, a, you know. So if you guys, if I ever have a makeup brand, that's, gonna, that's literally what it's gonna be. Oh, also it has a little cover on there. I have mine in the shade Giza 540. Also, I'm testing out the e.l.f. sponge, and I have to tell you guys, I feel like I'm gonna love it. It's like super, super squishy, like more squishy than almost any sponge I have. Like I'm barely pressing it. I know people say that this uh, product, you don't need a lot. So this is, I put a pretty big amount actually, but I'm gonna dot that pretty much all over my face. And um, I'm assuming that that's going to be all that I need. Oh, wow. It is so full covered. I mean, I know that, but like, like I saw reviews, but like once you actually put it on your skin, you're like, oh my God, that is so full coverage. <laughs> I think I picked a shade that was a little too yellow, but also maybe not. I feel like this is too wet. 
It's always tricky using a brand new sponge in my opinion. I definitely see that velvety matte finish that it claimed to have, but literally that little, little, little bit covered so much. This sponge feels weird, like bubbly almost. I really thought I was gonna love it like right off the bat. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It feels like spongy, but it's not that wet. Literally, there's like nothing on my thing and I'm on my sponge and I'm still getting product off to like do my nose. But like, look, that little dot, I think this might be one of the most full coverage foundations I've ever tried. Wow. I know I literally just keep saying wow, but. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna finish blending this out and I'll come back. I feel like it covered really well. I'm not sure how I feel about the finish yet, but I think it looks pretty good. Also, I think I have to take into account that I'm using a new sponge. Um, so I'm gonna continue to test this out on my channel and you know, see what I think about it, see what you guys think about it on my skin and you know. Anyway, I don't have a new concealer, so I'm gonna go in with two of my favorites, the Tarte Shape Tape and the e.l.f. 16 hour Concealer. The e.l.f. one is in the shade Medium Peach and the e.l.f. one is in Light Neutral. I think I need some Light Neutral in my life right now. This uh, foundation is very yellow, so I think that this concealer is going to help us out. So that was Tarte Shape Tape and this one is super light so I'm literally just going to take it like right on my under eye just to brighten it up right there. Still using the same sponge because I'm testing it out, you know? This is the whole first impressions of a ton of products so I feel like it's soaking up some of the product but that might be because it's like completely new. It is blending everything out really nice though. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out and I'm going to pack on this powder and kind of let you guys know what I think. So I haven't finished blending everything out yet but I almost have and I just have to come back and tell you guys that I feel like this concealer combination like color wise really easy evened out the um, foundation. I feel like it made it a lot more like my shade, if you know what I mean, and kind of brought back a little bit more neutralness to the skin. Cause like my skin pulls olive, but it also has a lot of yellow to it. So I feel like this made it all better. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no more creases and I'm gonna set with the collab powder. Okay, I don't really like this little guy that comes with it. I think it's a little too hard. I might keep it for when I do client makeup because when I do client makeup, sometimes you wanna like rest your hand on the person's face to like do their brows or whatever. And so when you're working on somebody else, you can put your hand like on their cheek and work on their brow. So I will, might keep it for that, but I don't think I'll keep it to like under eye powder because I feel like it's a little bit too hard in my opinion. But I'm actually gonna try um, Jasmine's Technique from, again, Juicy Jazz on YouTube. And I'm like giving her multiple shout outs, but I really love her channel. And I'm gonna take my sponge to do it. I know a lot of beauty rooms do this, but for some reason it always looks weird when I do it. But maybe it's because my sponge is always too wet. Actually, it looks really good. This powder smells nice, but I can't figure out what it smells like. It's not overly scented like the peach powder, if you guys know which one I'm talking about. Probably do, because I love it, I talk about it all the time. <gasps> Oh my god, Jasmine was right. I'm obsessed with this powder. I'm actually gonna bake a little on my nose and just let it sit. I know I've like powdered so much, but I'm obsessed. Wow, she was right. This powder reminds me so much of the Peach Perfect powder, like the quality of it, but it is a fraction of the price and it doesn't smell. Like I wanna love the other one so much, but it smells so intense on me. So another new thing I got, and I didn't test it out in my last video, is the Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder. This is like their pressed powder. And mine is in the shade Filter 4. Buildable, medium to sheer coverage, creamy, lightweight formula, shine free, oil absorbing, selfie approved. Honestly, a pair of tweezers is like everything when you're trying to open makeup, I swear. Ooh, I love the compact, like that it's a square. Ooh, and their little powder like touch up thing is really nice. It has like a little leather thing. It says Morphe. Wow, Morphe, this looks like really luxurious, I'll be honest. Oh my God, you guys, it feels like my Burberry powder just off the bat. I like tug, put my finger in it just a little bit. So I'm gonna dust off the rest of this powder and just lightly dab my brush in here. Wow, that collab powder is so smoothing. I think it just became my new favorite powder. I mean, my skin looks so smooth, but look at my under eye, like, I think it looks so, so smooth and so nice. I did pick up this powder at the Morphe store. I'm sure you can purchase it online. But again, just for like a color shade of reference, this is the shade of Filter 4 and it's like really good match for me. I like to go a little lighter on my face powders um, because I never really use them like as powder foundation. I just kind of use them to like top my other powders. Let me show you guys like side by side. This is the Morphe one, the black one. 
And then there's my Burberry one. My Burberry one, you can see, is a little lighter, but you see the packaging is very similar and like really sleek, and they both feel really soft. The Burberry one, the Burberry one, I know is softer, like it's more finely milled, very, very buttery, but it's still super, super nice. So, okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and bronze and do all that on, on my face. I'm gonna use the Morphe Glamour Brown Bronzer for bronzer, mostly just like my normal products and stuff, and I'm gonna do my brows, and then we'll come back to like do my eyes and finish up the face, and then um, also use the lippy and the highlighter from the BoxyCharm. All right, guys, so we've got pretty much a full face of makeup done. I used like my regular products for my face makeup, but I did do something with the eyes that was a little bit different for me. Number one is completely matte, and I just think it looks really pretty, and it's like brown um, instead of black, and I was heavily debating if I wanted to include that part of like the eye makeup in this video. Um, so I'm going to include it. It's starting now. If you guys want to skip ahead, I will insert a timestamp here, 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 somewhere on the screen. Um, so you guys can jump right back into like the review and uh, other new products I'm testing and stuff like that and the BoxyCharm. But if you want to stick around for the eye makeup, I am going to be using, oh my god, my broken LA Girl Hot Hot Heat Palette that I used in my last video. So if you want to stick around for it, great. If not, feel free to skip. So I went ahead and zoomed you guys in just a little. I used my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and a little bit of concealer on the lid. So let me just pat that back out. No creases. The concealer that I used was the e.l.f. one. And let me tell you guys, that, that concealer, like, it goes matte. Like, you know what I mean? It gets really matte and it dries down. So you really don't need to set that concealer, I've noticed now. But anyway, so this is the Hot Hot Heat Palette. I'm gonna start with the shade Sunlight, which is this one right here. It's just like a nice little pinky tan-esque shade. It's not super tan and it's not super not tan, if you know what I mean. Like it has a little bit of pink, um, but it doesn't do very much for my skin tone. I feel like if you were very, very, very fair, It'd be a nice, perfect crease shade, but for me, it is just a really soft transition shade. And the reason I'm going in with this one is because it has that pinky undertone, and I'm just going in with like a really big fluffy brush. I know you guys can barely see it, but I feel like it is gonna make a difference when, well, I know it made a difference actually. <laughs> Speaking in hindsight, um, I know it made a difference when blending out my other shades. So, I'm gonna take this really large Essence Eye Blender brush, and I'm gonna go in with this shade Utopia right here. It's like a very soft, it actually looks darker in the, in the viewfinder, but it's a really soft pinky matte shade, very like, like a dusty rose kind of color. And I am going to, number one, take a light amount, like just barely tapping my brush in, and I'm gonna create like a softer transition. Um, obviously I've built it up here, but I've also used other shades to deepen it up. So I, initially I'm going in very, very wide back and forth strokes with my brush, um, using those windshield wiper motions that we all knew and love. But then right at the crease, like you can see where my eye kind of sags. I don't like that word. But like this little part of my eye right here, because I have hooded eyes. So like right in between that is where I'm going to literally like open up my eye and apply a lot of that product. Because it's going to make a difference when I am blending out the other shades. And then I'm going to take the excess and bring it. I'm literally stabbing my brush into the crease of my eye. You guys can see right there. So I really love the formula of this palette. I can tell that it was really, really well done. Has a lot of wonderful shades. And I know that it's like super colorful, but um, I really like it so far. I will say that I feel like with this palette, you really need supplemental palettes, in my opinion, to kind of like make a full look work if you're going to do like anything with like anything. Because like... I could have used a shimmer shade, but there's nothing deeper than this matte shade. So we really need like another palette that has some more matte shades to really build it up. But I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a precise brush and pop that shade again into the crease. On the other eye, I went straight into this matte brown, which is the shade Spirit. And I tried to do this with that um, and it kind of just got messy. And because this, because the brown is so warm and this, and this pink shade is so cool toned, it like wasn't blending all that great. And I remembered that I have, of course, you guys know I have the James Charles palette. You literally can't even see it. It's just like a black thing here. There it goes. Um, but the shade Boutique from the James Charles palette is like a warm, dusty pink. <laughs> like it's literally the mixture of those two shades. 
it is this one right here it looks more brown on camera that looks like more true to color right there so this is again the shade boutique from the james charles palette you can see that that shade really deepens it up and i'm gonna take this into the crease and then kind of flick it out here but anyway i'm sure you could have done this look just with the james charles palette but i really wanted to use uh, the Hot Hot Heat palette, just because I just got it, you know, it's like new and fancy to me, so. I'm also going to take that shade Boutique from the James Charles palette and bring it down into this area, outer corner of my eye right here on the bottom half. Then I'm going to take, again, this is, uh, this is the e.l.f. Eye Crease Brush. It's just a super tiny little brush, and I'm going to take the brown shade, this one right here, the shade Spirit, from the Hot Hot Heat palette from LA Girl. I don't know if I actually said that. And I'm just going to pack it on. I'm also kind of creating like a little eyeliner there with it, guys, by the way. So next I'm gonna go in with this like smaller tapered brush. This is from Profusion, comes in their palette. And this is the brush that I'm gonna use to blend this color up into my crease. So that made it the look a lot more rich without really like, you know, making it super dark. So then I'm gonna go back in with the brush that had Boutique on it, blend those two shades together. And now I'm just kind of working backwards. So now I'm gonna take the light pink shade again, which is Utopia, and I'm just gonna dust it on the outer corners of the look. Then what we're gonna do is cut the crease. I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and my favorite flat brush. This is from Ulta Beauty. And I'm just gonna do like not exaggerated. It's just like a really tiny little line. I'm just gonna go in with the natural shape of my eye. I did so much better on this eye. I literally did it in like two seconds. But basically on this outer edge, you want to work with very, very little product. If you feel like you have picked up too much and you have too much on this outer edge, wipe it off, wipe it off, and then go back in with your brush. Then I'm going to go back in with this little wet and wild brush that I used in my last video. I love this little brush. And I'm going to go with the white shade over here. It is called Tropics. And it really is not so much white as it is like a very, 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 very fair skin tone color. And I'm just packing this all over the lid. This is just that excess of the dusty rose shade. I'm going back in with my brush. And then I'm basically working backwards. This is the brush that had the shade Boutique. No extra product, just placing that there. And then the brown. So next, I ended up using a liquid liner, but I don't like this liner. I used this liner once and now it kind of is like faulty. It doesn't work well. This is the LA Girl Fine Line Long Lasting Fine Tip Liquid Liner. This is not long lasting. I literally got one use out of it and now it's kind of like failing on me. And mind you, I'm using it on matte shadows, not shimmer or anything like that. I wouldn't even expect it to work on shimmer. But like normally when you go like this to an eyeliner pen, it distributes product, but this one is just not doing it. Um, so I don't like this, so don't recommend it. Um, so I did use this to kind of create an initial line, but then I just went in with my brow pomade um, to recreate this line and my eyebrow brush. So going in with my Anastasia pomade, you don't have to use the Anastasia pomade. I actually would never buy this. Um, my friend Mariana gave it to me because it, this one is too dark. I have mine in the shade dark brown and it was just too dark for her brows. And I'm also going to put on this brown eyeliner. This is also from LA Girl. This is their perfect precision eyeliner. And this is an amazing eyeliner. It stays a long time. It's really creamy. And you get a ton of product for not a very expensive price point. So you guys see that? That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to line my eyes and pop on the lashes. The lashes I'm using, this is what they look like. They are from Target. They're from the brand Zoe Sweet Lashes. Oh, they're actually a sister brand of Violet Voss. They're called the... It's Violet Voss's Sweet Little Sister. So they're called the Zoe Sweet Lashes. Um, and I have mine in the style no filter. So that's really cool. I didn't realize that in the last video. So I'm going to do this and I'll be right back with you guys. And so now we're going to go in with the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. This is the one that came in the Boxy Charm. I also really like this highlighter, but like it's super intense. And it can, like you guys know I like to use like two and three highlights, but look how intense this one is. But I'm going to go ahead and line my lips now with my favorite lip liner. It is the shade Cafe from Wet n Wild. Just gonna line my lips really quick off camera so we can go in with the Chrisman Dominique lip gloss. So I definitely thought I was filming, but I wasn't. Um, so let's start over. Um, this is the Kristen Dominique Cos or the Dominique Cosmetics um, Lemonade lip gloss. I have mine in the Strawberry Lemonade, and it retails for seventeen dollars. I did line my lips, otherwise I think this would look really pink, but it looks super neon pink in the tube. 
I watched Kathleen's video and she was to totally right when she said that this smelled like creme brulee. Creme brulee is one of my favorite desserts and it totally smells like that. So I don't mind that my applicator is getting like tan because I pretty much, every time I use a, a nudie gloss, like, you know, this is the outcome and I'm not concerned with this getting tinted. Um, I, you can't avoid that by putting it on the back of your hand and then going with a brush. Just don't give a damn. So, uh, that's the tea. And I love it. I think it smells so lovely and so nice. And I'm really glad I own it now. So, all right, guys. So, I'm going to quickly give you my final thoughts on everything. I'm going to do a wear test on this foundation. Um, literally, I've had the foundation on for like an hour or so already. And it's 4 o'clock. Basically, it's 3.50. Um, I will probably take my makeup off around 9. I never really anymore wear my makeup like all day unless I literally have to. Hey guys, so I still loved the foundation. This was at 10 or 11 o'clock. I did have some creasing and some breaking up, but that's kind of normal for me. But I will like insert little clips of that at the end of the video. But so far, I think I really, really like it. I love, 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 love the finish of it. And also I know I said this as I was trying it out, but I'm obsessed with this powder. It really is that soft, matte, high-end I'm like out of breath talking about it. It's so good. It's such a beautiful powder. I was gonna go buy Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier who? Like this is so good. You need this. You need this. Go pick it up. If Jasmine didn't convince you when you watch her channel uh, at Juicy Jazz here on YouTube, I will convince you because it's gonna be in like every video now. I'm obsessed. That's the tea. Um, also, I love the Morphe powder. I used it to touch up my nose and my under eye because I was actually going to just like quickly powder because I got a little fallout. And you can see the black on this sponge. I got black eyeshadow on it from a brush that was just sitting here. And so it got on my nose. And what I ended up doing was using the sponge and just going into the Morphe powder and like pressing it in. And it got rid of it completely. So needless to say... I really, really love this Morphe powder. I want it to be the kind of powder that I just toss in my purse and keep in my purse with me, but I don't, I, I tend to break things, so I probably won't do that. But it will probably be my touch up powder. I really like it so far. Um, I think that is everything we talked about. I loved all of the primer, I mean, sorry, all of the products from the BoxyCharm except the palette. So I will figure out what I'm gonna do with that here in a minute. Um, I also, I will try the matcha green tea antioxidant mask and let you guys know what I think about it either at the end of the video, depending on how long it is so far, or I will just tell you guys in the description below if I like them, thumbs up, thumbs down kind of thing. Um, normally, cheap masks, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, as long as they don't dry my skin out, I like them. As long as they don't break my skin out, I like them. I buy, like, a five pack of them at five and below and I really, really like them, so... I don't see why I wouldn't like the ones that are like $24 for three. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to like them regardless. Like unless I'm like, oh my god, this burns or it stings or it whatever. I think I'm going to like them. Love the lip gloss. I know I'm talking a lot, guys, but I really liked everything. Um, that's the end of the video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching if you stayed until the end. If you guys liked this eye look right here and you want to see more matte eye looks, comment a little pink heart down below. Um, without further ado, let's close out this video because it's been a minute. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below if you like this video. And I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and I bid you adieu.